uh, record. Okay. So I've been asked two questions, uh, and my memory is not so good, but one of them's on the observer observing the ego and do they merge or uh, is the ego released and uh, the observer and witnessing uh, versus uh, the Course in Miracles lessons like seeing another as my friend or seeing Christ in another and those type of uh, course lessons, ACIM lessons. And I shall uh, go, they're slightly separate questions, uh, but anyway. Um, so for me, the, the Course in Miracles is removing the blocks to love, but I would, I would say removing the blocks to the infinite presence uh, of love, i.e. beyond all duality, all separation, all this and that, so that that's finally resolved. And the Course uses words like um, um, conflict, often in spiritual literature, it talks about polarities or dualities, uh, that that are seem to be arising in consciousness. So for me, the course is um, it starts off for me the, the the early course lessons, and I'll have to adjust the lighting here because I, I'm going up and down. But never mind. Um, the uh, early course lessons for me uh, speak to the spiritual seeker as if the ego is real. So uh, God is a love in which I forgive you. God is a love in which I forgive you. As if I am, as if my experience of me is real, and you are also real, and we're two separate entities, and that seems to be the experience. Um, now there are the other practices like uh, self inquiry with the observer, and probably some Buddhist practices as well, where it's like witnessing the thoughts like they're clouds, or witnessing all experience like it's clouds and objects, and just letting go, and. Um, so the, the first question is, I don't actually practice to merge my ego because I see it as the identification with thoughts, the body and, and, and the uh, repressed feelings that emerge for me are those which create the experience when there is this kind of identification with the thoughts and the body of, of, of being a separate entity in relation, in separation to everything really, to others, to, 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 to life. So this experience of separation is, if you like, originates uh, for me from the ego, by, by the ego being fed with identification. So I use the Course in Miracles and also another practice I do, which is observing and witnessing, um, to, um, to transcend the ego, i.e. to keep doing course lessons and to keep practicing the witness observer until um, uh, and my experience is feelings, the experience of body, thoughts, um, which are witnessed, which are the course lessons are applied to, become less and less uh, seemingly over time. Whenever they re, um, whenever they come back, they seem to come back with a smaller imprint and have less of an effect in blocking out the presence, that infinite peace and stillness that is always here. So for me, the, um, I don't want to, when I, in my practice, I don't see the ego. I see the ego not actually wanting, because it for me, the ego is losing, it's seemingly losing, shall we say, it's a losery life of separation and, and, and making choices and um, being something which can have its own identity and separation from everything else. So for me, it's transcending. And it's okay, you know, for me, it's to have a benign or loving view, if you like or witnessing of the ego, but not to, um, but to keep applying course lessons or the witness observer until those reoccurrences of ego, like fear, anger, guilt, shame, uh, thoughts arising uh, in consciousness, like there's a separate me having these thoughts that, uh, that forgive others or don't forgive others, or wants to eat an ice cream or doesn't want to eat an ice cream, uh, so until all of these things are, uh, I call it, transcended, uh, for me in the course terms, uh, one is now uh, in the holy instant. Holy instant for me meaning whole beyond separation. There's the experience of oneness, as the course sometimes says. I just adjust the lighting here. I'm getting very dark now. Um, the, um, so in the holy instant, i.e., 
the the Holy Spirit, or the, now there's just the one Spirit. There's no longer the idea of se spirits in separation to each other, and there's no longer the idea of being a body in separation to other bodies has dissolved, and there's a oneness or an infiniteness, uh, which sounds a bit odd, beyond any identification with limitation. So. Um, so that for me is the idea. So I'll give uh, an example. Um, like uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm in a, I have very severe food addiction problems. And my idea after my, uh, with all the spiritual work I was doing, The Course in Miracles, uh, the works of Dr. David R. Hawkins, uh, Ramana, Muji, all of that, 12 steps, was to transcend to get, if you like it, I mean, in, in literature, it's, uh, some literature calls it neutrality or witnessing, or no longer there is a sensation of a me having a craving energy and, and desiring or wanting something to be whole outside of myself. So it's a transcendence. And I did employ actually the 12 step, a 12 step food group, uh, which I won't mention in this video. And, um, uh, uh, also applying the Course in Miracles. I think, um, oh, I'll talk about it now. Uh, so for example, donuts are meaningless. Uh, uh, God did not create donuts or the temptation of donuts, so it's not real. Um, oh, there's a craving energy and uh, there are thoughts of wanting to pick up a donut, but let me go to the observer and just keep watching that until the craving energy dissolves and the thoughts dissolve into nothingness. So in that way, what I'm doing is I'm applying all the spiritual tools to transcend. Um, so as these things, you know, so the, and essentially for the last 10 years, I think there was one day when there was a tiny bit of food obsession, but there's been neutrality, no body obsession and no food cravings, uh, no food obsession for things outside. So I call that transcendence. Uh, so it no longer enters consciousness. It's nothing. Um, Okay, there was another question here on, um, oh yes, the observe, oh yes, choice. Uh, 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 observer, ACMC, others, oh yes. So there's, there are course in lessons like seeing Christ in others or seeing the light and the love in others. And my view on the course in miracles is, uh, is to understand um, from my own spiritual experience is to understand that the course, I mean, I think lesson 365, now you can throw away the book you no longer have to apply the lessons. That for me would be the holy instant or enlightenment when the idea of a me needing to forgive others, the idea of a me needing to make my thoughts meaningless and the world meaningless, and the idea that I think I'm holding a resentment or a grudge or a grievance against you, and there's a me actually in separation to you still exists within my limited ego consciousness. But once that is, transcended, which I would call the holy instant, the eternal now, enlightenment, whatever you want to say, is when this idea of separation, fear, time, it's beyond time, beyond location, beyond the idea of a me in a body and having personal thoughts all dissolves away into those miraculous, um, miraculous, uh, into, well, I call it the miraculous experience, but it's actually, the course would call it into the truth. So going from the dream or the illusion now uh, uh, now into a truth. So the truth then doesn't need to say Course in Miracles lessons or witness uh, because it's beyond that, unless there is a re-identification with the, um, or temptation to re-identify and re-energize the separate ego self and the illusion that I'm in separation to others. So yes, this, the, there are Course lessons like, um, okay, I'm going to do this forgiveness thing. I'm going to see the light and the love and the perfection in you. I'm going to see the Christ in you. I'm going to keep doing that until my grievance is gone. For me, that is still, I have an ego awareness. I still believe uh, there is a me in separation to you. But uh, for me, the, the point of the course, in my view, is for um, to go to the holy instant where there is, it's realized in the holy instant that there was nothing ever to forgive that time does not exist, that this world of being in separation to others was actually an illusion or a dream. Um, so I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'm going to.